in Europe and South Africa, offering Forex indices, commodities, crypto, and over 100 stocks. Now, at AAAFX, you pay no commission on any Forex pair using their ECN Plus account and low commissions on cryptos and stocks. Plus, you can deposit with cash or crypto, get a free VPS with deposits over 5K, and easily integrate the well-known copy trade service, Zulu Trade. While you're waiting for the stream to start, go and check them out by clicking the link in the description, comments, or visit AAAFX.com. What's up, what's up, everyone? How are you doing? Welcome back. So my name is Rodrigo Antonio, and I'm from the CTI team. And we're here on the Trading Not YouTube channel to go live. And we're going to be live trading, day trading using bank level trading concepts, which is using smart money concepts with patterns in order to identify the most high probability order blocks and points of interest for us to take some uh, really uh, high risk reward trades. So um, it's going to be an interesting day. We have some potential moves on the euro. Uh, there's uh, some potential trades as well coming up on the high time frames for uh, indices. So yeah, guys, make sure that you're smashing that like button um, and sending your requests. Let me know in the chat as well right now whoever's watching let me know if you can hear me just type a one in the chat please thank you thank you much appreciated guys all right soon as you can hear me soon as you can see me just smash that like button where are you guys from? Hello, Paolo. Goku Lan. Graham. What's up, William? I see William's already got his request. Wants me to check out the Dow and, and the Pound Yen. That's fantastic. That's what I like to see. Well, what? you, Rochelle from Texas. Okay, so which, uh, nice and early for you. Graham and... Melbourne, Australia. Also, what time is it out there in Australia? Curious to know, mate. All right, I'm just gonna invite him um, just to see very quickly, invite some of the CTI community over. Anyone from CTI here? Any CTI traders? So it's 1 a.m. over there. Wow. It's a power session. You must be a bit of a night, night owl then, yeah? What's up, Kenny? In the house from UK. We got Junior from Tennessee. Right, so we got Paulo from Portugal, Gokulan from India. Wow, we've got the whole world literally tuning in. Very, very grateful for you guys being here. So let's just uh, wait for the room to fill up a little bit. I'll start kicking it off with some some of the indices and then we move over to the dollar. We move over, then we start looking at FX um, and going through some of your questions. So let me know in the chat as well. Are you, any of you guys funded? Which, uh, let me know in the chat who is your prop fam curious to know if uh, anyone's funded it here okay let me start preparing my charts as well share screen and uh, okay
Okay, so we got a trader from so got a trader from my forex funds. Fantastic. You funded with 20k. Good stuff, good stuff. How far are you from um, your next payout? Let's see. Let's see if we can get you some profit today, yeah? <laughs> oh bid. Uh, so Junior's got Juniors with EA funding, managing 100K. Good stuff. Hey, what's up, Diego? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, Rod. <laughs> good to, good to have you join us. You? I'm doing great. Oh, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. What are you looking at? Um, so... So we're going to go through uh, indices and we're going to see if we got something interesting coming up. I am seeing on the Dow here, the US 30, we're coming up to some buy side liquidity here on the daily time frame. So which is also in confluence with uh, this order block here. Very, very interesting. But we've also got some imbalances up here. So there could be... Um, potential move higher on the higher time frame however what's really interesting as well is that we don't actually have that same move on the s p 500 or the nasdaq so let me go on the daily on the nasdaq so from a smt divergent point of view uh the dow is the only one that's could potentially make a new high so i'm thinking we're going to get a manipulation spike and price move lower Whereas we're actually uh, we're actually close to closing out this uh, this gap here, so we've got a bank level just there on the S and P five hundred. So very very interesting price action. If we go onto the H four, we've we're also coming up to potential third tap up here. So I'll be I'll be very curious to see um, what type of uh, yeah what's inside this wick. That's what we're going to explore today. So we've got a couple of requests on the Dow from a couple of the traders so i was just asking them uh if they're funded what prop fund they're funded with amazing nice there's not yeah. too many cti funded traders come on guys you need to join the uh -huh. cti crew yeah guys um we've made some new updates to the cti uh funding the rules so uh we've reduced the commissions down by 50 percent that's been a big one uh, we've improved the payout process as well, so you can get payouts faster. Um, and we've added uh, some new assets. You is it weekly now? The new payouts. Rule. Pardon? Is it weekly payouts now? I think that's what yeah. I read. It's quite yeah, new. yeah. So, Amazing. guys, uh, weekly payouts, fantastic. Yeah, it's a game changer, man. So, for those interested in having more regular payouts, yeah, go ahead and check out the new updates on the CTI YouTube channel. So what trades are you looking at today? Have you got any potential setups? Yes, I'm actually currently long on Euro and I'm waiting for a short at the moment. Okay, yeah, I saw that. Did you catch that? Catch that quick move, oh, that quick the, draw? The rain, the rain just came. Um, Which one? This one, did you catch this uh, quick long here? no a little further above that was my confirmation entry but that, I caught, that was a confirmation I caught, entry. um one two three wait one two the next high to the right next this yeah that one yeah that's where i'm at oh yeah lovely but this okay. this is a this, this is a it's a different strategy to be honest it wasn't bot or something else <laughs> okay <laughs> love it boy you always coming out with um all sorts of strategies <laughs> so <laughs> let, no, but let's build, the build the BOT strategy I'm, I'm waiting for the short this looks okay almost ready there yeah up here somewhere right so we'll cover that we'll cover that today because yeah. we might get it so we'll see if we can cover that fantastic so you're in your you're you're long from this point here, 
and you're looking to take profit above here where the shorts are yeah basically yeah but there's a there's a bank level on the five minute i'll be banking 80 percent there if you look to the Lovely. left there's a little bank level little yeah hidden one <laughs> yeah around there somewhere yeah we'll look at the m5 okay yeah i think i see it yeah that's a good that's a good nice. tp my friend so let's let's map yes, this um... from my brother <laughs> <laughs> Let's map it out here. Nice. All right. So, so as you can see, guys, there's there's always opportunities, and we might actually get an opportunity to short the euro very very soon. So keep an eye out for that throughout the session. So what I'll do is I'll kick it off with the indices, and then we'll start looking through uh, all all the FX pairs. There's been a few requests from. Uh, a couple of a uh, couple of you guys so we so yeah William wanted to see the Dow uh, and GJ will cover that gold we can cover that and the Aussie yeah we can cover that cover that as well I think the euro Kiwi if we get time we might be able to cover the euro Kiwi <laughs> all right Graham so uh let's see what we can do in the next 60 minutes so let's go <clears throat> zoom in here right so what i was saying earlier was that if we have a look at here if we go on to the daily time frame i'm seeing something really interesting because on the daily time frame uh, the Dow is coming up towards this buy side liquidity, whereas the S and P 500 and the Nasdaq are nowhere near their their, their previous uh, structure high on the daily time frame. So uh, I'm anticipating we're going to see a quick spike up here before price moves lower. So let's have a look at the Dow very quickly to see what we can see on the on the smaller time frames. So we've already taken out this uh, this high here, and then we came up to take out these uh, very small equal lows um, over here, and prices then come back up again. So these uh, these short this these equal highs up here are about to get taken out. So there's uh, a there's going to be a drawn liquidity up here very very soon, and uh, we've got. A really nice order block up here so i'll be quite interested to see if we can get enter any longs towards this um this order block up here otherwise um we can just wait for the shorts to come to come in it could we could get that later on in the session so let's um let's let's study this h4 uh order block let i'm just going to remove this indicator from the higher time frames so this is a high and low a previous day high and low indicator that i use really helps me to identify when price spikes uh daily highs and lows i use that quite a lot when it comes to when i'm trading indices as they tend to um they tend to uh, draw liquidity or at, at previous day highs and lows and then reverse the other direction um towards more of the macro trend so I always keep an eye out for those sweeps of previous daily highs and lows so looking at this um at this candle here uh, if we go down to a smaller time frame we can start to identify potential uh yeah this 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 bank level is really interesting so i'm going to map that one out on the h1 let's have a look at the 15 minute what can we see 15 minute okay there's quite a large imbalance here so that should be relatively easy to to go through so yeah that this yeah this h1 slash 15 minute um bank level uh, we can clearly see it's a, it's a h it's an m15 order block that i'm very very curious with that one 
although it has actually already been tested, I would like to see that tested again. Um, so very interested to see how price reacts at this level at the present moment. So if we go over to the present moment, uh, let's get rid of the replay tool. So we've we've got that level mapped up, up here. So in terms of where we're at, this is um, this is the high that um, I'm anticipated to get taken out. These are the relatively equal highs. So these these two highs, these two equal highs have already been taken out. But I am anticipating for for price to take out this buy side liquidity today. So I'll be, be really curious to see how price reacts above that. I think the longs are, are a little bit difficult right now because we don't, I, I would rather take longs when there is compression, when price is compressing lower. So uh, what, what we like to see is price, you know, making some sort of um, down, a descending pattern, whether it's a channel, whether it's a wedge, we want to see that type of move. So this is this is what we look for as um, as bank level traders. We we're not we haven't quite seen we did see a, a slight pattern here, but again it's not very convincing. I would rather take my trades during like straight after the open. I would say um, sixty minutes onwards after the open. I would like to ideally take a trade. So it looks like uh, shorts are most likely. Um, the the trade that i'll be looking for uh so what i'll do is i'll set an alert here because i'm not actually going to set any orders here i just want to see the reaction i want to see price action at this level and i'll be uh, I, I would like to see some sort of uh some sort of breaker structure here like this and then i'll look for the uh the, the order block that caused that move so this this will be more likely my trade this is the kind of move I would like to see. So I need that confirmation first on, on the lower time frames. So that's what I'll be interested, curious to see on, on the Dow. So on the S&P 500, um, I would like to see again on the smaller time frame. that's the H4, okay? So on the Dow, For me, sorry, in the S&P 500, I'll first, I need to see what the Dow is going to do. So for me, the, the leading indicator from a correlational point of view is the Dow. So before before I'm, I try to find a setup on S&P 500 or the NASDAQ, I want to see what the Dow does. Because the Dow seems to be uh, the leading indices, which is, uh, which is very close to... To the buy side liquidity, whereas the S and P five hundred and the Nasdaq are nowhere near their um, their buy side liquidity. So, very interesting to see how, uh, that uh, S and T divergence. Um, looking at the spy here, um, if we go over to the daily, we are trading within uh, this fair value gap. Uh, and so price can very easily react from uh, from this bank level right here. So I'll be very interested to see how price reacts to that level. So let's see what what let's see what, what kind of action we get in the next few hours. So yeah, that's what I'm currently seeing on the uh, on the Dow. So William, I hope that's been helpful for you. Uh, so I think this is a good time to move over to Dixie. So let's uh, let's see if um, Diego wants to cover Dixie. Otherwise, I'm happy to cover Dixie. Hey, Diego. Hey, hey, hey. You have to Just going to... Yep. All right, guys. So if you found that analysis useful on indices, 
please do go ahead and smash that like button would appreciate the support thank you very much okay fantastic thank you rod um sweet let's do this so with the dollar i'm expecting further room to the downside now as as of last week this was one of the forecasts that we had within the BLT community and we were expecting shorts from around this point of interest since there was multiple confluences here right so well done for those of you know those BLT members that capitalized on that move but let's focus on the recent price action so what is the dollar telling us well as it stands you know the bears are fully in control look at that momentum massive momentum massive momentum buyers are nowhere to be seen just a bunch of big wits and small bodies right so if we go to the h1 let's see what's actually you know what is happening here what's the data so we need to investigate what exactly could potentially happen but before we do that just zoom out for a little bit on the daily what can we see there's a trend line tap right one two so this third trend line tap is yet to be made and also this tap one two and a potential third tap if you look to the left what do we have some liquidity there's some equal lows so there's multiple confluences for price to drop one last time before a potential rally to the upside so i'm expecting either a move like this or a little boom around and a move like that that's the game plan for the next couple of days slash weeks big big bullish moves coming but for now what takes precedence is the short-term shorts towards that point of interest towards the areas of the buyers so at the moment i'm interested in shorts on the dollar now do we have any information telling me it's going to drop uh, yes we do it's actually breaking up now on the m15 as expected so this is looking pretty decent this minor little pattern here that's old you know this needs to be updated so i'm expecting a fourth wave from around here and the larger pattern such as this so at the moment, this fourth wave is still not complete. And what I mean by the fourth wave is a one, two, three, potential four, and potential five. So at the moment, we are definitely bearish on the dollar. We do have some equal lows, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Nice bearish momentum. But as it stands, there's no not for now, there's just no clear signal um, for the dollar. If we look at the euro now looks like my longers should be playing out there we go so i'm currently long on the euro um traders on break even this however is on the aggressive account it's not on the the master account i'm waiting for the higher probability short which is one that rodrigo has as well and it's obviously the boomerang of one two we're expecting a fake out and then potential shorts to the downside so that's my current game plan on the euro if we zoom into the m5 it's almost at my, at my tp so that's you know for 4r i'm looking to bank 80 percent or 100 percent. most likely just bank 100 percent. to be fair there's no point holding it all the way to the top i'm gonna be in the zone looking for that short which i'll take on the, the main account so that's looking okay if we zoom out on the euro it's literally within this larger pattern as you can see right so we've got one two three four we're very 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 bullish on the euro because we are bearish on the dollar but for now there's some short opportunities here if you zoom in right and if we go into the m15 once we do get the short right whether it's up here or a little bit higher i'll be expecting this low and this low to get taken out on a short-term imbalance potential reversal but most likely where this larger sort of bank of block is right this is where all the liquidity is at well the majority of it and what i mean by liquidity is this large volume of buy orders right this is a bit choppy you know this is very likely going to get taken out we've got a little bit of volume here but you can clearly see that the main liquidity was caused by this bank of block right and it broke a structure so that's my sort of game plan on the euro once it's short is activated so i'm looking to bank um, some partials at this imbalance and then potentially further up so that's my game plan on m5 uh, let me just get to set an alert you guys might be lucky if we get the short which is almost ready uh, let's go back to the h1 now i'm very interested in catching the long once the long is ready which would be 
if we get some price action from around here or price action around here, maybe even some price action around these sort of imbalances down here. You know, we still don't know exactly where price is going to reverse. It can reverse from here. It can reverse from here. It can reverse from here. We don't know, right? This is why we need to wait for the BLT patterns to tell us exactly which one it's going to reverse from once you wait for that um, confirmation. So there is some imbalances here. I'm not using them as entries. It's just a point of interest. So we'll reevaluate once price is at the point of interest um, with the euro. So the short is looking pretty decent and the longs, again, we still need to reevaluate the longs once they're ready, right? So that's the more or less my game plan on the euro. Currently long, looking for shorts. Like we lost the sound. What does it mean? Hello, 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 hello. Oh, uh, no, you're, you're, you're good. Hello. Okay, fantastic. So, yeah, just to recap, currently long on the euro, waiting for shorts, and then I'll be looking at longs from around these areas, maybe even some imbalances here. But again, we need a pattern to give it, give us that confirmation. So nice long opportunity, probably ready sometime tomorrow. And obviously we know where price is likely going to reverse from. So just an example, if it does reverse from here and if you do wait for confirmation, there is a chance for a pretty decent trade to complete this particular move, right? Most likely it's going to do a stop on of this area towards these sort of banker blocks, but I'll be very happy just banking very conservatively at this point of interest. That's my sort of game plan for the Euro. Wow, that looks really nice. I, I really like that H1 setup. Yeah, very, very clear. Nice little setup. This was even the, the trade that um, I caught literally last week with some of the BLT members. I banked some of it here and some of it here. And I'm not sure if some of the BLT members actually held it, <laughs> but well done if you did. Nice. But again, can you, can, what would show the guys on on this call what that looks like that'll be great to see do you guys want to see that trade just let let us know in the chat um if if you want to see diego break that that trade just type a two in the chat if you want to see how diego caught that sniper because this this is what we do every day guys okay we literally go in T tp hit lovely the trade okay so yeah i'm, I'm out of this trade Happy with that one. But this guys, is aggressive. The, the conservative one is this this short. Yeah, guys, this is what we do day in, day out. And with the bank level trading community, we actually share these setups ahead of time. So it's not just a place where we lecture, we teach. No, it's it's uh it's learning and earning at the same time. You know, you're taking similar trades that we're taking, uh, and this is what it's about. It's about being on, on the charts every single day, trading live with you guys. Um, so you guys can understand the concepts that's on the online course. So you have the online course that teaches you all of the concepts, teaches you how to develop uh, as a trader. And then during the live streams as a member, then you get access to how we see the markets, the real time markets. And that's when you really start getting a lot of value plus access to all the community. So um, are you going to take this trade live? This, yeah, just the paper trade on TradingView. I've already got the right. order set on my account. So just for you okay. guys, so you can see the, the, the process. Why not, you know? Love it. Why not? <laughs> and, uh, hold on. So I've got a question here from Rafael. How can we learn your BLT strategy? You submit an application. Look, guys, the, um, at the moment, yeah, you submit the application on, on the website. But what you could do is we would like to invite you guys to a webinar. So we're going to be teaching one of the strategies that we use to trade in the BLT. It's a very simple and effective strategy. And we're going to be teaching that this Sunday. So this Sunday at 6 o'clock UK time. So uh, 6 o'clock UK time is, uh, is, is that we've actually sent out an email for it uh, yesterday. 
So if you have registered, well done. Let me know in the chat. And uh, if you haven't yet registered for it, just uh, what you can do is join our Discord community, the CTI Discord community, and then you'll be able to. Uh, we'll send out another email very uh, or tomorrow with the invite to the webinar. Otherwise, just reach out to me on Discord and I'll send you the invite for that webinar. Okay, so it's a free webinar, so make sure that you're registered for it. Um, what I can do as well is I can actually send the the link to the webinar. I'll do that very shortly. Um, Diego, I'm going to just, if you can, it got a little bit loud on your end, so. Yeah, okay. Let me just set the order on Trade and View, but the actual entry yeah. that I'll be uh, looking at will be on the lower time frames, which I'm not going to share on Trade and Nut. So obviously the BLT members, you guys know what I'll be looking for, but for the community here on Trade and Nut, I'll just set the order um, at this area. So let me just copy and paste this. Right, if anyone's gonna take this trade, just use risk management, please. Don't, you know, I'm sure you guys are responsible. Okay, stop. Yeah, the Entry. same financial advice, guys. <laughs> Not financial advice, thank you, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, disclaimer, <laughs> no financial advice. This is a demo yeah. account, right? So. Price, yeah. units, bid, so you guys stop, loss? stop loss, yes. Stop loss, risk. Uh, let's do 0 0.5 for example and where do we uh, i never use this where do i put my stop level oh here we go yeah boom and tp would be you know what we'll split the risk 0 0.25 and tp1 can be at the start of the pattern at least you know what this imbalance is so inevitably gonna hit there so tp1 nice little conservative three three point two r there we go 0 0.25 so it's on yep yeah, it's on and then we do another one And the other one would be you know, more slightly around down here. We'll have alerts as well. This would be the next area of interest. Create limit order. So, yeah. Entry would be here. Uh, sell limit. Let me see. Hold on, hold on. I need to get into the zone. I think I'm going to have to log out. Because I need to trade, I can't multitask, trade and do limit orders and trade view and whatnot. So I might have to leave you to it, Rod. Yeah, okay, no worries. I'll, I'll see if I can set it on my end. As long as you're sorted on, on your yeah, live account. Finish doing this, I? Yeah, once I'm, the thing is, <laughs> I think the next hour or two, I'm just going to be busy waiting for the actual entry on the M1. You know how long that takes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need to zone in on that yeah guys let us know in the chat are you taking this euro short so oh risk yes so 0 0.25 should be good to go it should have um nine seven eight let's do that again actually just in case Stop. And yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Why isn't it working now? Risk sound. Because oh, you need to put limit. Click the limit in the middle. Oh, I haven't done limit. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, limit. Oh, silly me. Uh, yeah, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <Boom. laughs> What happens when you're not used to demo trading on <laughs> spend too much time on MT4? Yeah, yeah, that's... and then literally okay. Um okay, um da -da -da. yeah, let me let me stop sharing and then Rod, you can just cover what you need to cover. I need to get into the zone.
Yeah. Okay. Good. Sweet. Let me see if I, I can see. The I'll, I'll just be in the background, just in case. Cool. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's see if we can see that trade orders. Yeah, we can see that trade. Just double checking which market that is. Here we go. Okay. So we've got that limit order set. Let's zoom in into the M1. So very, very close. We're very, very close to taking this entry. Let's move it over to the M5. Okay, we'll wait till that loads up. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so we want to see we want to see this um we want to see price spike up and then come crashing down. So we'll see how that one goes. So we usually don't have um, such a wide stop loss. We usually, I mean, we can take this trade on, on the M15, but what we really want to see is what we, is on the M1. So we'll go down to the one minute time frame, and then we'll start looking for an entry pattern once uh, we have that confirmation in place, okay? So what we are essentially trading we're, we're essentially going to be trading what's called a boomerang. Okay. So this is uh, one of the entries, one of the strategies that we, that we developed over at, uh, with bank level trading. And we teach that that's actually on the course. And we, we teach you how to actually enter that trade, how to actually, there's, there's different variations of actually trading the boomerang, but essentially what, what we want to see is this pattern. We want to see it get, we want to see a fake out and then we want to trade the the fade right and we would be looking to uh take profits at these levels down here so the, this low and this low like that's 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 what we're looking to tp now if we um if we look at the risk reward at these levels as you can see uh, uh tp1 you look at at least 5r TP2 will be more like 7, 10 R. So that's the kind of uh, trades that you can expect on with bank level trading. So a lot of you that are familiar with smart money concepts will already understand that we do use a lot of smart money or SMC concepts. Um, there's a lot of ICT concepts in here as well. So we what we do is we just, we simplify SMC and we use patterns in particularly Elliott wave patterns to give us and filter out the most high probability order blocks okay that's what we're looking for because there's so many order blocks out there right uh and so which one do you choose so let, let us know in the chat uh just type in a, a one in the chat if you are an smc trader and you're struggling with uh, finding the best order blocks. Just type a one in the chat for me. And in the meantime, whilst we wait for that trade to trigger, let's go over some requests. So from the top, so there was a request for gold. Okay, let's have a look at gold. Anyone else want gold? Right, yeah, so a few of you guys already commenting that you, you, you're you struggling with finding which order block. And this is normal, guys, yeah? This is normal. Like, what order block do you choose? 
it's 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 not that easy so uh that's what that's what the blt is all about the blt actually allows you it gives you mechanical rules that will teach you all right this is the best order block to choose so we skip quite a few order blocks and what does that mean you're skipping a lot of losses potential losses uh and and that's that's exactly what we um that's exactly what we should be doing as traders right we should be focusing on the high probability trades and avoiding i mean if you could just avoid 80 percent of all your losses you would be you'll be a profitable trader you'll be a successful funded trader um so if, if it wasn't for you taking all of these unnecessary order blocks um i mean that's what we're going to cover as well during the um uh during the 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 blt live uh, we're going to do a live webinar this sunday at six o'clock so make sure you turn up because we're going to go through uh the pros and cons of um you know using every single order block to the way we do it so we're going to show you how we actually start choose the right order blocks so make sure you turn up to that i'll send the link over um I'll send a link over very very shortly but i mean look there's 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 order blocks everywhere right i mean this this is a typical order block right here um that could it, it did work initially but what if you took that trade over here you could have easily taken that trade because it um you know that order block caused that breaker structure but look it would have been a loss you would have been taken out then it goes in your favor I mean, how many times that has that happened where you choose an order block initially goes up maybe one hour uh, and then it just takes you out and then it goes in your favor right that happens a lot it happens a lot i know it happens a lot because i used to trade every single order block like this but if you were just to wait for a pattern like that you wait for this uh this third tap you would have realized okay i need to wait for that third tap so this order block is likely to get taken out let's look for the next one so then you start looking for for the next one and then you see that and this is the trade that diego took earlier on today so he waited for that order block to get hit wait for the pattern breakout and then he ended up taking this uh this trade to go long this one right here this is this was his trade I'm not sure where his stops were. Um, let's see. Probably on the lower time frame, but he probably would have placed his stop around there. His target, he's already hit his target anyway. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and check out gold. Let's see what we can find on gold. Guys, I do analyze very, very quickly. So hopefully you, you guys can keep up. So I'm just going to show you um the process that i take when when analyzing so let's go and have a quick look at the high time frame on the weekly now let's go on the monthly very very curious to see where we are on the monthly oh i like this i like this okay very interesting very interesting level that we are now revisiting and okay so on the monthly we got that and on the weekly we've got this got this order block so we've uh we've reacted several times on this order block this is this is very nice this is a very nice reaction um so if we go into the lower time frames we can potentially see uh, this accumulation that's happening here on gold so now moving on to the daily uh we can see these you can see the support has held very very well um i would love to see these uh, lows that get taken out to be honest they're just a far too perfect um especially this inducing candle this inducing candle generally whenever there's some equal lows like this i don't trust it <laughs> so uh uh let's see how it goes so on the daily, we have um, this gap. We've got this order block. So I'll be really interested to see how any shorts, any potential shorts down to this um, to this region. 
it's it's easy in BLT. Let's see. Um, right on the H four. Okay, on the H four, I can see <clears throat> a really nice Wyckoff accumulation. We had our this is our selling climax, uh, preliminary support. Then we had the, an automatic rally. So we've got, okay. So we're, we're within our, our range. I would love to see some sort of spring um, down here with very high volume, something similar to this volume that we got here on the, on the 21st of October, but we haven't yet got that. Um, so it's, quite difficult trading within this um within this range we've got a a substructure here a, a sort of micro range um within this larger range so price is very likely just to be very choppy up here unless you're already long um i'll be very careful we're trying to enter any shorts with stops above these highs these are just prime targets. So I'm anticipating for, for this, uh, for a breakout higher. So we could get a potential um, move like this, break and retest and very simple. Uh, we can potentially find this, this day trade right here. But uh, what we also need to map out is where, uh, where are the points of interest? So, um, I'm just going to map out this order block here, which has, it's a fresh one, hasn't been tested yet as, uh, as the next potential point of interest. So is, is it a good point of interest? Let's see. It, it, can we find, is there any sort of pattern that can help us identify that as a, as a, as a potential decent order block? Um, not yet, not yet price is still developing so we'll see how how that goes so for gold um i am anticipating further upside um as the new, yeah new york session is now on the way we're starting to see that that move higher so we've got these equal highs so if you're yeah we're starting to see some a nice volume kicking in for gold it's going to take out these highs so if you are a breakout trader, then potentially, yeah, look out for this break and retest uh, towards this order block up, up there around 1700, 1710, sorry, 1710. Uh, so let's see how that goes. So that's what I have for gold. Interesting, very interesting price action. I, I, I would rather catch a, a short on gold, to be honest, guys. I would love to see price take out these equal these relatively equal lows for potential spring and then potentially a higher time frame uh longs to the upside but those are big predictions i would rather focus on the day-to-day -day price action and this is what i'm seeing for the next i would say four to six hours right what's the next request we had a request for uh, the Aussie, someone did request the Aussie. Let's have a look on the Aussie. Okay, quick, uh, let's have a look. On the Aussie. Hmm. Aussie, let's see. Aussie is very similar to gold, isn't it? Because they are, they are very correlated. So whenever you see a, a bounce like this during a bearish move or a bearish trend, you want to see where where was that bounce coming from? Was how significant was that level? So it looks like the bounce came in from this. From this move. <clears throat> looks like Diego's back. <clears throat> Hey, Diego. Diego's back. <laughs> back again. Dun, dun. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. 
What's the update on the Euro? I'm back. Just waiting for Euro. Waiting for that con. I've taken profit at the bank level. It was a nice sniper exit. And now mm-hmm. I'm just waiting for the, the B123. Nice. So, yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So, I'm just looking at the Aussie here. And then we'll jump on to the Euro very quickly. Uh, let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not too convinced with this uh, bounce on, on the Aussie. I'm still favoring the shorts. I'm still favoring the, the daily trend. Um, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I'll be looking to see. I'll be looking for for these highs on the Aussie to be taken out before considering any shorts. So similar move, similar to gold, really. Um, I'll be interested to see how price reacts around this zone for potential shorts. And again, um, I'll be looking for any any patterns that can give me a potential edge like this ascending channel. So I'll be very in- interested to see how, how price reacts within this uh, five wave channel. So I want to be able to trade this wave five to the downside. So that's what I'll be looking for on the Aussie. So I hope, uh, hope that's been valuable for you guys. Let me know in the chat and smash that like button, of course. So Diego, let's. what's the update on the Euro? Shall we share your screen? Yeah, sure. Nothing, nothing glamorous and fun, <laughs> just waiting. That's where the money's Wait. made is just by waiting for the setup. 100%. Still waiting. So this was the exit that I had. Um, where was it? This was literally like 10, 20, 30 minutes ago and the price is up here somewhere. And this was the bank level, textbook bank level. And then obviously, wait, hold on, where is my... And then hit take profit. Nice reversal, right? We showed this exit live with you guys. And for those of you who don't know what a bank level is, I'll quickly show you what a bank level is. We zoom in to this particular time frame. It could be five minute or the one minute. And this is our bank level. So it's just a candlestick, one candlestick wick. Once it breaks and there's no retest, there's a bit of a failed retest, this becomes a new bank level, right? So normally what happens is this, look, if we zoom in one more time, we've got, let me see, we've got this as a bank level. So let me show you this wick. So guys, can you see this wick? It broke, but then it got retested. This area actually got retested, so it's not a bank level. All right, are you guys following? What what else have we got? Let me see. Uh, We've got this area here. This is actually a bank level. So it broke it and it never retested it, right? Can you see it never retested it? So it's a valid bank level. When it gets retested, it means that the bank bank level was filled. Right, so you don't want to be trading the field bank levels, they're just basic support and resistance where you can retest. But the bank levels are the ones that do not get filled. So, for example, at one point, this here, for example, if we go back in here, can you see it broke that wick support? So, we need a failed retest. Do we have a failed retest? Yes, we do. Look, it never touched the bank level, and then finally, it did. So, once you can understand how the algorithm works. Believe me, you'll be catching sniper entries. And this can this can be with any strategy. I mean, it doesn't just have to be the BLT or it doesn't just have to be SMC. It can be with anything. You can use the, the bank levels or the order blocks of Fibonacci. If you're a Fibonacci trader, use the bank levels instead of taking your order at the 60%. The majority of the time, the traders that have an order at the 50 or the 60, they get stopped out. Why? Where did they put the stop loss? You guessed it, at a bank level. That's where you should really be trading. Same with moving averages or whatever pattern you're trading, use bank levels and you have a serious edge. Yeah. Right. So this is thank you. Yeah, this that. is the reason why that, that was really good. You, yeah. Very, very educational. And if you guys want to know more and want to learn a bit more of this, these type of concepts, then I posted the link in the description or in the chat, as you can see it. If you guys want to attend the live BLT masterclass this Sunday at 6 p.m. UK, then make sure you register for free on that link. 
So um, yeah, Diego's going to be Diego's literally giving you a snippet, a little snippet of what the BLT is all about. <laughs> It's like no, it's just, it's 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 one percent of the one percent of the BLT. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure Rodrigo will drop some, not even a sniffer. You'll drop some psychology bombs on everyone. Yeah, always, <laughs> always, always. Okay, that's it. We just have to wait. So, like Rodrigo said, because I was watching the the stream earlier. This is our point of interest. And obviously, we just look for confirmation, look for the order plot, and then we just enter with a nice tight stop. But for those of you who are just not that confident with following a signal and trading that, then just have a very conservative stop above the previous high. And even that is enough for a minimum of, you know, three, five, six up. But to be conservative. So it just looks like it's gradually approaching our point of interest. And we'll, we'll see what happens. How long have we got left on trading that, Rod? Um. I don't think there's anyone after us, so. Uh, but oh I, wow, lovely! Yeah, I do need to jump off in about an hour, so we're we're, we're quite flexible. How long do you have? Uh, yes, uh, it's the same, more or less the same. Yeah. Let, yeah let's ask. Yeah. Let's 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 ask the community. Do you guys want us to continue? Type a two in the chat, and we can continue. And let's let's get those let's get those likes up guys let's have a look where are we with likes okay we, we're on about just over 20 like let's get that up to 30 likes guys yeah you guys want us to continue yeah hey, guys <laughs> if we don't get those likes we, we become homeless you know we're gonna be homeless if we don't get a like so come on help us out <laughs> <laughs> uh the likes the 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 twos are coming in they want us to continue lovely we're getting we're getting an encore and we get we've got a few requests as well okay um so we've got eurocad we've got oil uh what else dollar yen with I've, I've covered the aussie so eurocad it's not something we trade so but we can still look at mm, it okay sure all right, let me let me break it down. I'll, I'll do a quick one. Eurocad for Percy versus Suniga. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. The, what we've the way got. we the way we're gonna move is quite quick, guys. So, um, yeah, try to keep up. But we're gonna be doing a high time frame analysis for this for you guys. All right. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's do this. So. Yeah. First of all, let's just delete everything. What do we have here? This is just not even valid. This is completely old. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I'd like to start with the patterns first. As long as it's a recent relevant pattern, this is all done. Actually, started a monthly. Maybe there's something I've missed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just looks quite bullish. So let's say we've done a bit of a stop hunt on the monthly from these equal lows. Okay, that's that ticks the box on the weekly. We can see that just be, you know below the equal lows, if you draw the liquidity pool, we can see that the liquidity pool actually got hit to the T. Look at that, lovely. And there's a technique and a, a rule to draw these liquidity pools. It's not the way you you see it on. Nobody does it like this actually. They draw liquidity pools or areas below the equal lows at a different area. So there's a nice little technique that we use. So that's that's done. Um, it looks like there was a compression and a breakout to the downside so this is quite a textbook i mean if you look at the psychology behind this from around here and then you see you know you drag this across you've got the support pretty sure a lot of traders will enter here and the stop losses right below this particular area or even just below 
the actual double button, right? So, you know, they obviously got stopped out, both market top participants. And then eventually hit the liquidity pool and it went to the upside, right? So let's go to the current price action. So yeah, liquidity has been grabbed. So we are bullish, right? Remember, all this move to the upside, all this break of structure was caused by the start of the liquidity down here, right? So what's, what's happening now? Compression, liquidity is grabbed. We're expecting a move to the upside. Hmm, Euro. Okay, let me go back to this. Okay, my alerts are popping. Hold on. Oh la la. Okay, so yeah, if you guys are entering this, you know, good luck. I'm still going to wait for some confirmation. Still lots of momentum. So I'm going to check it every minute, more or less, and then I'll sort of reevaluate. Let's go back to EuroCAD. So EuroCAD, what do we have? Where was we now? There we go. So very bullish on EuroCAD. Go to the daily now. And it looks like on EuroCAD, there may be a bit of a pattern forming. There we go. So most slightly bullish towards the start of this pattern here, look. So, right, we're expecting a move around this area. So, all these banker blocks, we're not trading them. We're going to wait for the banker block around here because it's in confluence of the pattern. H4. So, this would be a good point of interest for shorts. So, let's see if we can look for some longs on EuroCAD. What do we have? We do have a bit of an imbalance here. And we also have, you guessed it, some equal lows. But now it's on a smaller scale. So potential equal lows and a potential uh, liquidity pool from around here. You can average everything out. Nice point of interest. So if I am looking at EuroCAD, I'll be looking at longs from around. So at these points of interest may drop a lot lower though so if we're expecting longs down here that means currently there's most likely going to be some euro cad shorts there we go there's our shorts not the cleanest it's, it's, there's a reason why i don't really trade euro cad just doesn't really give you those clear patterns there we go that, that looks okay and we have, you know, an M1, nice bit of equal highs. So a point of interest on EuroCAD would be approximately down here. This would be our point of interest. And then we can look for shorts, right? Even though we are very bullish and we know it's coming up here, we can still look for shorts and then we can look for longs. Then we just keep on playing, um, we just keep on playing ping pong, you know? That's what we call it in the BOT community. We just sell it, buy it, sell it, buy it, sell it. We just keep on doing that. But we need to follow the order flow. Okay, so that's uh, me done. Let me get into the zone of Euro USD because I've <laughs> I've done this mistake before where there's a live stream, there's a live trade, and I end up either missing it on my live account. So I'm out, guys. Um, I'll be back once it's on break even or once I get involved. So yeah. You can take over, Rod. All right. Yeah, go ahead because it's tanking now. Lovely. Appreciate it. Oh, let me check it. Is it actually tanking? Oh, wow. Oh, look, it went right to my point of interest. Wait, take, take, take the replay. And you guys saw this live. Take the replay off. Really? Is your replay Yeah, off? it is off. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So you guys saw this. I had this live. You know, it's not like, you know, I'm not, we're not trying to. <laughs> fake it or anything but we actually had this it's not a replay but again the entry is still not really valid yet for you guys it is trading view but for the BOT community not yet so yeah 
I'm out and I'll be back when this trade is covered. All right, catch you in a bit. Bye bye. Good luck, Diego. I'll be back soon. You know, if, if I'm gonna have you on the on the background road. Yeah, right, nice I'm gonna one. see gonna see what other requests we have. Let's have a look. So we've covered EuroCAD, we've covered gold. Uh, and there was a request for Kiwi CAD and Dollar Yen. Okay. Dollar Yen. All right, so Dollar Yen came in sooner. So let's have a look at the Dollar Yen. Right. So Dollar Yen, very, very interesting. Let's just change the color for this. Very interesting. Let's see where we are at. Mm. So dollar yen on the weekly. If you want to get access to all of this data uh, on the dollar yen, check out dollar yen um, FXCM price feed. So you get a full picture of because it's very important to see uh, this information. Um, as you can see here, we actually took out this high, a lot of buy side liquidity there from 1998. So that's the high of August 1998. Uh, so <laughs> many moons ago. And we reacted, we reacted towards this um, this order block here. So very interesting to to acknowledge that. And this is again where around 150, where the um, Bank of Japan started to intervene, right? And that's what we're seeing currently on the weekly. So we've seen that intervention, and now price is uh, is moving lower as the DXY continues to um, to drop. However, from a macro point of view, uh, I will just say I'm still bullish on DXY, I'm still bullish on the dollar. So I'll be really interested to see a further upside on the dollar yen as uh, as it approaches the uh, 145 level. So on the daily, we have prices, it, it looks like it's targeting these lows. So very likely for these lows to be taken out. But I'm very curious and interested to see how price reacts at this uh, point of interest around 14490. So let's map that out there on the H4. Um, looks like, yeah. So after this intervention, price has just pretty much been moving sideways. Not nothing too exciting. But if you are a day trader, then yeah, there's been some potential opportunities here on the, on the smaller time frame. But for now, looks like um, price is heading towards yeah, sub one four five. So I'll be uh, I'll be interested in short uh, shorting the rallies, any small rallies on the smaller time frames. So let's start having a look at some potential patterns here. Okay, so I'll be interested to see how price reacts if it if, if it does test this upper descending uh, pattern to find potential shorts. So for now, yeah, for now, my bias is to the downside for the dollar yen. Although, if we go down to the smaller time frames, we may we may just get a very small reaction within this this area here because it's the bottom of this channel we could actually get a bounce here intraday so if we but i would have to see some sort of confirmation on the lower time frame and i have to see this load getting taken out which is very very soon so from a higher time frame perspective i want to see um some sort of some sort of pattern up here I want to see some sort of compression then move lower um and for now uh you know i would like to see some sort of breaker structure retest to then go long around some this region so that that's what i'll be looking for right now i, I wouldn't do anything with the dollar yen 
um, unless you are already in on a, in, in a short. I've been looking to bank some profits um, around this current level. So that's what I'm seeing on the dollar yen. Let me know in the chat if that's been uh, useful, if you've got any questions. Right. Uh, yeah, Philios, uh, BLT strategy, does it give clear patterns on BTC? Extremely cl clear patterns. And if you if you know how to trade smart money concepts, uh, then you love trading B uh, Bitcoin. Uh, so well, well, when you combine patterns and smart money concepts on Bitcoin, it's just an absolute game changer. So um yeah that's that's what that's all i gotta say <laughs> okay i think i've got time for one more request let's have a quick look how's the euro doing how's that euro trade going let's see i think we're a little bit underwater on that euro trade uh yeah we got taken out on that euro trade. No worries. A lot of momentum here. Wow. See M1. Yeah, we didn't quite get that M1 confirmation. No worries. Right, let's have a look at any further requests. Yeah, we're getting a lot of volatility to the downside on the dollar. Let's have a look at indices. Yeah, we're getting the move high we wanted to see in indices. Hmm. Interesting moves. Let's have a look at the Aussie. have a look at the pound quickly okay it looks like the volatility is generally coming from it's coming from the dollar so there might have been a news catalyst on the dollar but th remember guys we've got cpi tomorrow okay so cpi tomorrow is is what takes precedence this week. Let's go back to the Dixie. Here we go. So, yeah, CPI tomorrow is what takes precedence, guys. So, whatever's going to happen today and tomorrow is really in anticipation of that move. But any big, any, I mean, if you guys have been watching the CPI print the last few months, it has been really easy time to trade. Like you, you just have to use, you know, basic SMC, um, looking at market structure, and you can pretty much guess where <laughs> where the CPI move is going to happen, and you can easily catch maybe uh, one to three R quite easily. So tomorrow is yeah really good opportunity to to take some trades all right let's uh let's let's have a look and go for one more request yeah yeah thanks for clarifying that Phileos. elections elections are going on so yeah that's going to be that's going to cause a lot of volatility especially on uh, on indices so we'll see we'll see how that goes so good idea to reduce risk accordingly until until we get the final uh result for those votes coming in hmm. okay so we let's have a look at crude so there's a request for oil 
on the daily time frame. I do like this pattern. Very nice pattern. Oh, let's, uh, let's not look on there. Let's look on here. You know what I like about what I like about losing trades. I like these trades where I prefer a loss like this one than a loss where it just keeps you in for like five hours. <laughs> right, Diego? <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. I, I like. We normally know there. know very quickly when we when the trade's invalid. Well, yeah. this is why we wait for confirmation on the M one guys. Yeah. So the confirmation didn't come on the oh. M1. Damn. Right. Well, well, I'm gonna look at oil. That's it. That long, that long earlier was fantastic. Yeah, Oof. you banked profit on that, didn't you? Did you I collapse all of it? Arm. Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. I could have, should have left some running. Would have been, yeah, a good 13 R. But I was happy with four R though. The aggressive account. Yeah, I'm just looking at, I'm going to go through crude, and then I'm going to have to wrap things up. I'm not yeah, really I need to go now. Okay. All right, all right. Interesting. I'm going to leave you to it, Rod. It was a pleasure doing a stream with you and everyone else. Have a, have a good day, everyone. Thanks, Diego, and I'll see you Sunday for the live stream. Bye, bye, bye. Yes, the live stream, fantastic. Yes, I'll be there, of course. Good, good. Let's have a look. Hmm. Right, so I'm anticipating further upside on crude. Um, we've had some, we've had several, several tests of this, um, of this block here. Um, and we still have, uh, this gap up here. So this, uh, and then we've got another final. So let's map that one out. I'll be interested to see price. come up here to test this uh to test this move and then i will have to wait for confirmation a confirmational pattern to then take a short so that's what i'm seeing currently <clears throat> on on oil so for the short term I'm, i'll be looking for longs so i'll be looking for longs at these potential points of interest let's have a look Yeah, so I'll be interested to see. I would like to see um, some sort of pattern. I'd like to see some sort of pattern, like a wedge price compressing into this point of interest um, and then take some sort of trade right here. So I'll need to wait for that confirmation, guys, on this one. So in the short term, I'll be looking for longs, something like that, towards this point of interest. So that's the kind of um, setup I'll be looking for crude oil. All right. Guys, so I hope you find this live stream today very, very valuable. Um, and just wanted to remind you guys that we do have a BLT Bank Level Trading, Smart Money Concepts Masterclass this Sunday at 6 o'clock UK time. And um, posted out the link in the chat um, over to register for this. Uh, so make sure that you screenshot this or copy it in from the chat, whichever way. Um, 
you'd be able to register for that for free okay so we'll be going over um we'll be teaching you how to how we actually trade you'll be learning one of the one of our strategies we're going to actually reveal it for you guys so you can actually have take something away from that um so you can actually start back testing and seeing uh, how it works we're going to go through some case studies and show you how the pattern actually how effective it is so we'll show you of course some losses as well what, what the losses look like we showed you a loss today on the euro um but it's part of the part of the business taking these losses um but that would be a uh, an example of what a loss looks like with the blt and so guys been an absolute pleasure guys uh hopefully i see you see a lot of you over on sunday um otherwise till then we will speak to cam to see if we can jump on another live stream next week uh, all right well thanks very much all the best good luck trading cpi this week um and of course make sure that you keep risk to a discipline level take care everyone